data flow diagram. Data flow diagram, or DFD, is a graphical representation of the flow of data through a system. DFD illustrates how the data gets processed in the systems in terms of input and output. It focuses upon the flow of information, where data comes from, where data goes, and where it gets stored. DFD doesn't have a control flow, and no loops or decision rules exist. A separate flowchart or activity diagram can explain how the data is converted or transferred. Data flow diagrams are very popular because they help the developers and testers to visualize the major steps in data involved in the software system processes. Components of DFD The data flow diagram has four components. Process A process notation is used when the data in the system needs to be manipulated and transformed. So the data flowing out of the system is changed compared to the data flowing in. Symbols of a process are rectangular, with rounded corners, oval, rectangle, or a circle. The name of the process is a short sentence in one word or a phrase to express its fundamental nature. Data flow is the pipeline where the package of information flow. The arrow is the symbol of a data flow, and we label the arrow with the name of the data flow through it. The arrow represents the direction of flow, which can also be bidirectional. A given flow should only transfer a single type of information. Data store or warehouse. This is where the data is stored for later use. Two horizontal lines represent the symbol of the store. The data store can be anything like a database file, a folder with documents, optical disk, a filing cabinet. The data warehouse can be viewed independently of its implementation. Terminator or external entity. Terminator is an external entity that stands outside of the system and communicates with the system. External entities can be organizations like banks, groups of people like customers, or different departments of the same organizations, which is not a part of the model system. All information that enters the system is initially from an external entity. Data can leave the system only via an external entity. External entities are often referred to as sources and sinks. Rules for creating DFD There are several rules that we should follow when creating DFDs. Data cannot flow between two external entities. Data flow must be from an external entity to a process or a process to an external entity. There can be multiple data flows between one external entity and a process. Data cannot flow between two data stores. Data flow must be from a data store to a process or a process to a data store. Data flow can occur from one data store to many processes. Data cannot flow directly from an external entity to a data store. Data flow from an external entity must be processed by a process before going to a data store and vice versa. A process must have at least one input data flow and one output data flow. A data store must have at least one input data flow and one output data flow. Two data flows cannot cross each other. All the processes in the system must be linked to a minimum of one data store or any other process. A single DFD can have maximum processes up to nine and a minimum of three. This is mainly for readability purposes. DFD levels. Data flow diagrams can be drawn to represent the system of different levels of abstraction. Higher-level DFDs are partitioned into low levels hacking more information and functional elements. Levels in DFD are numbered 0, 1, 2, or beyond. Zero-level DFD. It's also known as context diagram, designed to be an abstraction view, showing the system as a single process with its relationship to external entities. It represents the entire system as a single bubble with input and output data indicated by incoming, outgoing arrows. The diagram shows the ATM software and the hardware that it interacts with. The arrows show the direction and type of data between the software and each hardware element. External entities are Control system, accounts database, card reader, customer keypad, customer display, printout dispenser, cash dispenser. One-level DFD. In one-level DFD, the context diagram is decomposed 
into multiple bubbles or processes. At this level, we highlight the system's main functions and break down the high-level process of zero-level DFD into sub-processes. The diagram shows data entering, then leaving the system. Input data is received from the hardware elements on the left. Various types of data are processed by different parts of the software system. Output data is sent to the elements on the right. If we read the diagram together, we can see that there is several processes. Receiver operator commands. Prepare commands. Update display. Verify pin. Prepare message. Display customer options. Prepare printout. Manage withdrawal. Two-level DFD. Two-level DFD goes one step deeper into parts of one-level DFD. It can be used to plan or record the specific or necessary detail about the system's functioning.